Hey everyone, so today we're going to go over how to run a CKB mainnet node. Uh, head on over to the docs page in the description below and click on the GitHub link. The most current up-to-date binary is version 25.2, so go ahead and download the Windows version for that. Now you should see it in your downloads and make sure to bring it into your C drive. And we're going to want to take this folder and bring it into command prompt. So to open up the command prompt, press the Windows key and the R button, and then type in command or CMD. I have it um, already saved, so it comes up. So first thing you want to do is put CD to change directory and go ahead and drag your folder and then press enter. So now you should be inside the directory. Let's go back to the tutorial here. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure we have the right version up. So we put CKB version. And it'll tell us that we have version 25.1 running. Um, but like I said, the most up-to-date one is version 25.2. So make sure you have the right version. And let's check our CLI version as well. So now that we double checked our versions, we can go ahead and init our mainnet. So enter the following command, ckb init dash dash chain mainnet. created a toml file and the minor file so now we can go ahead and run ckb we see that the node is syncing and now we can move on and download the neuron wallet so in the same docs guide we have a link to the most up-to-date neuron wallet make sure we download the windows version Go ahead and click run and install. Go ahead and click finish once it's complete and head over to your desktop and open up the Neuron Wallet. So now you can either go ahead and create a new wallet or import a key store file. So I'm going to take you through the steps of uh, generating, creating a wallet and generating a key store. So make sure you save your wallet seed in a safe place. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to put it on our notes, but it's not recommended. Uh, go ahead and make up a password. and back up your current wallet to create the key store. So 
So now that you have your wallet saved, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one just to show you how to go through the process and import a key store file. We see that the JSON file has been generated. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Okay. So now we go to import wallet seed if you have the words that you wanna import from, or if you wanna use a key store file, it takes you to the location where you last saved it. Make sure you import the wallet password that you set earlier and you should have access to it again. And now you're able to send, receive, look at the history, deposit to the Nervos DAO. And that's all. Thank you for watching.